hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. Um, so today, I'm going to be doing more Shanchato Ascension. And if you remember from last time, uh, which should have been the video that immediately preceded this, we had to uh, do a little back scratching for a Tenchoto guy to get this black book that we need for whatever reason. And you notice we're back on Red Mage. Um, there's a fight coming up that Bard might be able to handle, but I don't know exactly how strong the fight itself is. And it sounds a little bit tricky, and trusts aren't allowed. Uh, I, I, I figure it's going to be comparable to the Cardian Battlefield. And that was the last soul plate we needed to get for the Tenchoto guy. Um, so, yeah. And this is also another situation where if we fail the fight, we have to redo this quest that we're doing right now with this Soul Trapper and giving it to this Tenchoto prick. And if you remember, the story that's going on right now is this Domina Shantato, or whatever she's calling herself now, has got a bunch of Hitler, Nazi Taru Tarus, and it wants to take over the world. But the Tenchoto is standing in her way, so she wants us to assassinate Aldo. And, uh... Calm Wind is head empty follow quest objectives, I guess, so... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why we're not just sticking it to Chantato immediately, but, uh... Eh, I guess we'll figure it out, maybe. But, uh... Yeah... Hopefully we don't fail it. I would... I would hate that. I'm looking forward to get, getting done with these add-on scenarios. And moving on to Wings of the Goddess. Because as we move into Wings of the Goddess, um, about halfway through Wings of the Goddess, or actually, I guess it was more like three quarters of the way through Wings of the Goddess, that's when uh, I'll have to stop making excuses and, and really break the level cap. And the reason's twofold, and I'm sure I've mentioned it before somewhere in the sands of time that are this extremely long and slow and deliberate let's play. And that's the fact that eventually Wings of the Goddess is development got delayed so much because they kept doing other things like releasing Abyssia and uh, this thing called Void Walker Notorious Monsters which I'll probably show off a little bit but I won't be able to show them all off because they're too strong for me to kill at 75. I'll have to show them off either on an alternate character or once Calm Wind gets to maximum level someday. Wait, what am I doing running towards? Force of Habit, Force of Habit. G G Gilgamesh is like usually like 7 out of 10 times the reason you're coming to Norg. Okay, it's this guy. Okay. Alright, fucker, I got your shit. We gotta trade them one at a time. Chain key item, black book. Okay. Let's examine this thing and see why we need it. A well-worn book containing a record of Tenshoto transactions for the past calendar year. Black tiger hide has been used to bind its pages together. Okay, so I guess we're about to go somewhere where... Um... We're, uh... 
running into Tenshoto, I guess. Or like where they're doing a transaction. You actually, to remember where to go or know where to go from the end game stuff, you have to remember that Shantato said that Aldo would be in Ghost Tap Tunnel, but first she needed you to go get the Black Book to make sure. I mean, she didn't really actually say why we need the Black Book. She just said, you have to get the Black Book first. And I'm guessing that's, maybe that's like our cover of why we would be going down here. Like, oh yeah, we're part of the transaction, you know, but that's, that, that's like supposition on my part. That there's nothing really, um, concrete about that. Of course, there's a lot of things in the stories of Final Fantasy XI that aren't concrete, so... Eh. Alright. And we're gonna be fighting quite a few opponents, but they're gonna be on the other side of the tunnel, so maybe I shouldn't do all my buffs just yet. I actually was in Gustav Tunnel for quite a while over the holidays, getting my culinarians to work to help max out my cul my cooking skill. Uh, I was in the basement fighting the level uh, 75 to 80 skeletons and wyverns and scorpions. It took me quite a while to get the culinarians to work. I think about three days of just being down there. And that's why my merits are actually almost finished. Like, I've only got 13 more turn-ins to, to finish out the uh, maximum merit points. And then, like... I'm not exactly sure how many turn-ins it would take to finish meriting the jobs I have left to merit. But it can't be that much. Like, I, I've almost fully merited everything. So... That's another reason why um, we'll have to eventually stop caring about not breaking the level cap just because I really don't have any excuse at this point okay we're looking for what is it an outcropping is what the is what the game calls it says it's at F10, but I don't... Okay. There it is. Cool beans. We'll clear these uh, two weak to be worthwhile monsters and then buff. Or maybe I should just buff while fighting them. I don't know. We're gonna be up against three ninjas and a bunch of, like... Shadow clones or something like that, and they can all cast ninjutsu. So the most damning ninjutsu is Tabaku, which is paralysis. I think it's kind of funny because the conflict pages, you could technically level anywhere for as long as you wanted if you were content to only get EXP every 10 kills. But you could potentially level to maximum level on, like, wimpy baby monsters. It would take forever, but, like, you could do it. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Hmm? Looks like just how to a greenhorn adventurer, if you ask me. Really? <laughs> you... 
Do you think a, a red mage, a fully decked out red mage for the next caliber is a greenhorn? Don't take it personal, kid. Nothing personal, kid. Okay. One, how are your recast timers not a thing? And two, uh, you know, like, what is even going on at this point? I mean, this is kind of cool, fighting, like, ninjas that all have Gesso's ability. Like, actual Yususumi. But at the same time, it's also a little bit annoying. Her name is Bomb Poop. <laughs> what a name. I remember that comment that someone left me uh, about using walls to make monsters stop trying to circle around you. I should remember who leaves me comments. There's actually more people leaving me comments now that more than just Colby and I've uh I can't remember the names without looking them up. Killed the some of the real ones and I didn't even realize it. It's uh R five in R five in? I don't I don't know how to say that. Tanky item Cactuar key. Alright, well, that was an easy fight. Let's see what they say. That Shantato, how long does she expect me to wait in this dank, dark, dank hole? And you are? Well, if it isn't Calm Wind, what brings you here, my friend? I'm here to assassinate you, Aldo. My word, is all this you're doing? Doubtless, though, my overzealous young recruits brought it upon themselves. Up, you lot, up. Act with some dignity if you call yourselves Tenshedo agents. Is, is this true what you say, that Dr. Shantato sent you here to assassinate me? And what's this talk of a Shantato empire? Preposterous! What, an obnox uh, what obnoxious manner of conspiracy is that mercurial wench scheming this time? Naturally, I have no desire to cross swords with you, especially not now that the circumstances for our meeting have come to light. Nor do I believe you had come here with the intent to take my life. The Shantato empire... Much is still shrouded in a mystery, to be sure, but whatever's brewing can't bode well for Fanadiel. We must get to the bottom of this before people are made to suffer. I will return to Juno and set my agents to digging up whatever information they can. 
do what you must, and then seek me at the Tenshodo. We'll discuss the situation further then. I'll be expecting you, Calm Wind. Okay, well, seems legit, seems legit. Okay, so now we just gotta go to Juno and talk to Aldo as the next quest, so... We might as well use our mats cap to go there directly. <laughs> I just like rubbing it in that I have a mats cap. Even though, like, it's no longer the achievement it once was. Um, I mean, actually, somebody actually, like, the fr very first guy who got this cap, he got it within, like, uh, I think, like, five months of the level cap raise. Um, to 75, and uh, the developers did not expect that to happen. It might have it might have been a little bit more time than that, but either way, people who were actually like could devote themselves fully to Final Fantasy XI, they actually did get shit done in a relatively short amount of time. Um, part of the reason everything used to take so long isn't just that everything, you know, just straight up took longer, like tra world traversal and stuff. It's also the fact that because everything took so long. The less time you had to play, the less you could get done. So, like, you might have something you want to do in-game back in the day, and you might have to allocate just, like, three nights of playing to, oh yeah, you know, tonight I'll go to Norg, and since I don't have that much time, that'll be what I do for tonight. And then tomorrow I'll finish the quest there that makes me go back to, like, Bastok. You know, like... That's kind of the, uh... That's kind of the situation. Or, you know, tonight I'll search for party for, you know, an hour, and then I have, like, two hours after that that I could play, you know, maximum. And then if I push it up and lose a little bit of sleep, I might, I might be able to party for three hours. But then you always run into somebody who's like, oh yeah, you know, it doesn't take that long to get to 75, you know, you just got an EXP for, like, 16 hours a day for a week or something like that, like... Just like, how do you have that kind of time to play the game? Because, like, for me, when I first started playing Eleven, I was still in school. Like, I was, I was just entering high school. Like, I had just finished middle school. I was just entering high school. And like, by the time I had, you know, like, all day to play, when it wasn't just summer or like winter break or something, like. That, that was when I made most of my progress in the game, was like summer break, summer breaks and winter breaks. And when I reached adulthood, got out of school, uh, like by the time that that was a thing, like Abyssia had happened, um, Adeline was coming out, etc, etc, like, or it was about to come out, it was like rumored to be coming out. What the hell am I doing? I'm, I'm yapping, I'm yapping, I'm yapping. I didn't even go to Lower Juno. Yeah, Abyssia actually came out, I guess, right as I was entering college. And I didn't play Eleven in college very much because I actually tried to focus on my studies a little bit, but like. I did play it some, I just didn't have time to do, like, in-game anymore, and that was where I was at in the game. I was at in-game, so I didn't know what, what exactly to do with my time. And then Abyssia came out, and then, like, I couldn't go to college anymore because it cost too much money. And I didn't, I didn't finish, I didn't even actually finish my associate's degree. Because I had some professors that were very... Like, I went to a private college for two years. And the idea was go to the private college for two years and then transfer to a proper university with really good credentials or whatever. But... Because my brother had gone to that same private college and he'd had a blast. Like, he had joined a fraternity. He had, like... And it was like a private fraternity. They weren't, like weren't like the the national fraternities that actually get you connections for future employment or anything. Um, but like he had a blast. He he got good grades, he did whatever, and then he transferred 
to like the University of Georgia or wherever he went and uh, a whole whole load of good. I went there and the private college was stripping itself from the two year restriction and from being private to, to becoming a four year public university so that people would never have to leave. And that transition was happening and what that caused was a bunch of the professors to either quit or become very, very hostile. Like everyone, when I went there, every professor, except two that I had, they were always perpetually in bad moods or perpetually new blood, like completely new blood. Like some of them were even, like they had a professor shortage. They had to call up professors from other colleges to come teach courses or, or, or preside over courses. Anyway. Oh, calm wind, I've been waiting for you. My people have returned from this recon the reconnaissance mission in winter, so the situation is worse than we had feared. Representative from the Federation is due to arrive here any minute now for the further talks. We, we have an emergency on our hands! Is Koro Moru due by his speech impediment? Oh, Yorin, Orin. Never mind. See, I can't, I can't tell them apart. They all have speech impediments. I get them all jumbled. Now, before Athi, I proceed, please be reminded that not a single word spoken here today must be allowed to leave Athi this room. If what my investigation has revealed is true, Athi, we have a major crisis looming. The teleportation mishap Athi has resulted in the creation of a clone Athi of Dr. Shintato. What? As if one Dr. Shintato wasn't already a handful, now we have to contend with two? Of all the goddess forsaken incidents. And the rub Ethi salt into the wound, the evil tendencies exhibited by the newly created clone are such a thief that they put the original doctor to shame Ethi. Damina Shantato, she has taken Ethi to calling herself, though this is, you may already know Ethi. Ever since her appearance, Ethi, she wasn't, hasn't wasted a second to enact her malicious machinations. Oh, my poor, tired head, Ethi. If word Ethi gets a, dude, oh my, I'm not reading his page impediment anymore. Gets out to the other nations, wonders will become the laughing stock of the two continents. Well, guess what? You're already a laughing stock to me because you let yourself be ruled by the Star Sybil, who is a lame duck dictator. Well, that's the least of our worries right now. Had only I heeded Principal Koromoro's warnings. Oh, the goddess strike me down for a fool. To avoid raising alarm bells, we planted a life-size talking doll of the doctor at her abode and imbued it with a personality that's equally abrasive, but the people won't be fooled for long. You must act, and act fast, lest all of this becomes public knowledge and mass panic grips the land. Certainly not the kind of predicament you want to get dragged into should you wish to live to a ripe old age. But as much as I'm loath to admit it, we, myself, and all the adventurers included are already involved up to our necks. Whatever devious scheme that Domina Shintato is plotting, it would be naive to assume that she has any less than the whole of Anadiel in her sights. Now, I think it's safe to say that we've, we're all agreed that action must be taken, but what w should our first step be to avert this clear and present danger? Let me first tell you what, what else I know. Upon learning of the teleportation mishap, I sought to locate the whereabouts of the original Dr. Shantato. I deduced that the clone might have had a hand in her disappearance, and sure enough, my sources have revealed that the original doctor is being held captor, captive somewhere in Romave. I propose that our first act is the rescue of original Shantato for the sake of convenience. Let's call her by this moniker for the time being. Ah, I see where you're going with this. Fight fire with fire. Sounds like our best bet. The odds would be greatly improved if we had the original Shantato fighting on our side. Okay, yeah, but what if she joins her clone? Calm wind, I trust you. I can rely f on your full cooperation in this. Let's be on our way. Alright, so now we gotta go to Romave and check the ensorcelled door at B10. Which means we're gonna wanna take the book warps. And we gotta kill some weird stuff.
I don't think we need to change jobs. Even though some of this stuff is weird, we can just use trusts to make up for the types of weapon damage we don't have or something. And uh, it should be fine. Okay, and it looks like some of the monsters we're gonna need to do are the weird NMs we saw before, like way earlier in the Let's Play in Sanctuary of Zeta. But apparently first we gotta go to Romave and touch this V10 gate, so uh, let's have at it. Which because, because there's a time limit uh, pursuant to it being nighttime, uh, we're gonna want to like touch this gate immediately go out into um, Zeta because we're gonna have to kill multiple okay Raptor let's do this gotta go to B10 which I think is west I don't think either of these are behind the uh, the moon gate. I mean, we do have a moon gate pass, though. You, you already know that if you've been watching the Let's Play. But we've got to go... Closer inspection, you see hexagonal depression on the door. Okay, so even though that's not a cutscene and it didn't tell us anything, that's what we needed in order to um, to get these key items to drop from the monsters. And the ones in Romave are up all the time because they're just different arcanas. Like it's like the steely weapons, and the fired urns, and the uh, load golems and we can come back in here and find those later but as it stands right now we've only got the rest of nighttime to go into Zeta and kill the ones in Zeta and there's uh, like three different ones in Zeta and they're far more spread out so like if we try to get the key items in real Mave first we're gonna run out of nighttime and I won't be able to get it done in this recording so to Zeta! Apparently there's also a time limit to kill each of these of five minutes. I guess that's if you're attacking them without the, r the right, um, without the right stuff. So we want holy horrors, skeleton scuffers, and blessed bones is what we want. Which we might not see until we get a little ways down. So blessed bones, blessed bones. That's one of the ones we want. What do I need to kill blessed bones? Uh, takes magic damage from thunder, fire, and wind spells. Okay, so... I guess for our trust layout, we'll just do... Uh, some amalgamation of... All sorts of... Uh, damage types here and then we'll grab a Pururu 
Alright, Blessed Bones. You can only be hurt with... It says... Thunder, Fire, and Wind. Yeah, that Dia did damage. Okay, Luminous Beige Fragment. That's one. That's one. We don't need... We don't need to fight, um... Blessed Bones anymore. We now just need... Skeleton Scuffers... And... Holy Horrors. We'll find him, we'll find him. We actually have, instead of till 06, they gave an extra in-game hour, so we actually have, we have about 15 minutes to get the other two key items from Zeta before we're screwed. Um, and, and when I say screwed, I mean having to wait until another night time. Skeleton Scuffer. Skeleton Scuffers only take blunt damage. Which I don't have a club on me right now, but we can just, since we've got Ninja Sub, uh, we should have like a hundred something hand to hand skill. And while that's not that great, it's better than, it's better than nothing. And King of Hearts should be able to damage him just fine. As well, so. Should be okay. Definitely makes me wish I had brought a wand or a club of some sort. Red Mage has no staff skill, so... Yeah, I think this is... This is our bed, and we're gonna lie in it. Luminous Red Fragment, alright! Okay, so now we should just need the Holy Horror, I believe. Holy Horrors are where? It says H8. So yeah, we gotta go east. If I wasn't strapped for time, I would totally just be running through Zeta, because I love the Zeta music. Especially over this fucking mount music. But, uh... If we, if we get all the NM items from Zeta, I'll run back to Real Mave without mount. Just to listen to Zeta a little bit longer. Okay, where are my holy horrors? Come on now. Care about okay, holy horror. All right. And holy horrors. Uh, t only takes piercing damage. Range weapon damage doesn't count. Ninja's Dokken job trait does count. Oh, whatever. We've got piercing damage from red from red mage. With our Mandao, we'll be fine. Mandow and the joy use, that is. Luminous Green Fragment, man. It says that their drop rate's not guaranteed, but, uh... We got them one for one each time, didn't we? So... 
Actually, I guess I guess the the beige one took us two kills. Whatever. Let's see, are there any more in Zeta? Nope. I don't think so. So yep, it's back to Romave now. Back to Romave. Okay. And even though I'm gonna be running, we'll still be moving pretty fast. Because I've got Crimson Queases and the Super Koopo power of Quickening. So I think that gives us 24% movement speed, which isn't as fast as a mount at all, but eh do anything to not have to listen to that mount music for another two minutes. And I think I'm gonna sh shut up for the Zeta music. What a lovely song. Oh, hey, baby. I expect to see Vox's twin sister here. Oh, my God. Mm, what a snack. Anyway. So now we need to look for fired urns, steely weapons, and load golems. And I believe that they're not tied to day and night cycle at all, so they just have locations. I'm pretty sure most of them are actually in the east. Um, they're basically as far as way as you could get. Uh, let's see, slashing for fire derns, ranged weapons for steely weapons, and blizzard water and stone type spells for the last thing, so... Grab us a couple of mages here. And, uh. 
Tintin 2, I guess, or... <laughs> Actually, let's use Maki Chibuki. I I've never used him. I didn't even know he was a ranger. And I think... Oh god, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got demon arrows. So, when we fight the uh, ranged weapon ones, we can... I think I've got... My... Uh, I thought, oh, Arco, yeah, okay, I already pulled it out. Arco de Velocidad. Yeah, I've got a bow and arrows that I can put on. Because Red Mage has a archery skill. It's only a D, but, I mean, hey, it's tied with second best, for, for second best, so. Alright, so, yeah, Fire Dern is one of the ones we need. Uh, I prefer to not aggro all these weapons. If I can help it. She hasted a Jito Mero Jito before she hasted me? He's a black mage! Well, I guess I guess he is her brother, though. Luminous purple fret. Alright. Let's see, can we see a steely weapon or a load golem around here? Black and magical black steely weapons. Oh, okay, the steely weapons are just over there then. And the steely weapons are the ones that are ranged. So when we engage, I'll uh, throw on, I don't know, the bow and the arrow. best layout for uh ranged attacking it, but Mackie's already got it like a fifth of the way down or whatever, so It's wonderful being a red mage. Another one. 
Hey, wait, 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 what? I thought there was a second one down there. Ah, uh, don't, don't tell me that... Oh, no, there it is, okay. For a second I got scared. It'd be nice if they, uh, if they allowed jobs that have natural ranged weapon skills to have some of the ranged weapon skills. But nope, in order to do that, you have to sub-range your workforce Corsair. Or have a weapon that says you're allowed to use this weapon skill. Which is actually one of the nice things about the Yoichi no Yumi for Samurai. If we were to make a Yoichi no Yumi uh, Samurai with any sub job, including Warrior or any other thing that would give a massive ranged attack bonus. Uh, oh man, these steely weapons just are not putting out. They're trying to run me out of arrows. Very well, game. We, we, two can play at this game, two can play at this game. Let's grab Simulafina. She's a Windurstian related trust, and this is a Windurstian related problem. Ooh. I don't like already have their key items now, do I? Red, beige, green, and purple. Nope, don't have it. Okay. Um, hmm. It's kind of sad that my range trusts are only doing as much damage as, as uh, Calm Wind with this crappy bow. Oh, semi laughing how could you? Okay, Luminous Yellow Fragment, awesome. Actually, we need our nuke set up for the next thing we gotta kill. So now we just gotta find load golems. It says they're at E9. So I guess we'll we'll find them. We'll find them. Which they only take damage from blizzard, water, and stone spells. So 
gonna want to put away Semi Laughina and pull out Vegito Marajito again and hope that he uses the right spells. Sorry, Mackie. Yeah, yeah, I would. Want another mage out. Just gotta find these load golems. I love the music in Real Mave, too. I'm actually surprised they let you use mounts here. It's such a small zone, I don't know why you'd want to, but... I guess, whatever. Ah, no cast water. I guess I could put on in uh, in water and get this pony on the road or something. Of course, that would aggro curse pop at me. I'm this weapon, which I don't want to do. At least not if I can help it, you know? Although I suppose it would be easy enough to just kill everything around here without too much trouble. triangular fragment formed of a luminous material seemingly not of this world. Although it transitions through a number of hues, purple is the dominant color. The keen sense of geometry tells you that six of these will form a perfect hexagon. Huh. I suppose so. How don't I magic aggro that one weapon, but not the weapon that was, like, in the building right next to us. Glad I did the ones in Z top first. The ones in Mave seem to have a worse drop rate. I'm not like producing enough enmity on them or something and so they're not counting as claim to me. It sounds far fetched, but it wouldn't be the first time that something weird like that was the case.
Dainty item, luminous blue fragment. All right, all right. Finally. Once all fragments are obtained, return to the ensorcelled door. Okay, well, can do. This cutscene may freeze for players using the unofficial window or add-on. If this happens, you will have to disable windowware. Haha! <laughs> Take that, third party people. Shantato, but she's wearing all white. And goddess, we found Ethiu. And she's crying. That's not like her. You're the original Dr. Shantato, yes? What? She's curtsying? Bless you twice over, noble heroes, for freeing me from my imprisonment. I'm obliged to inform you, however, that I am not of original temperament. The Dr. Shantato? This courteous display of humility, Ethi, from the doctor bespeaks foul play! She must have had a personality tampered with, or else been fed rancid rations in captivity. No, wait, I've had a thought. Could it be that Domino Shantato is not a clone in the strict sense of the word, but rather a vessel for all of the Doctor's heinous urges? So by that logic, the Shantato who stands before us, emptied of all wick wickedness, is the very embodiment of goodness. If that's the case, I personally wouldn't mind if things were left as they are. Good sirs, if you wish for not for a fate most foul to devour the land, that evil maniac maniacal woman... They misspelled maniacal. Possibly. Maybe not, though. Must be stopped. We have to make a stand. Evil? Maniacal? I dare say it rings very strangely in the ears to hear you speak of yourself. So, of yourself, Doctor. My alter ego lurks the depths of the Tori Mirai Canal, the sacred full moon fountain. Tis there the seeds of her plan for world domination are sown. Of this I am certain. Gave her a cutesy run, what the fuck? Dr. Shantato, wait, Ethy! Now with me, my friends, we strike for fate. Do try to keep up, we mustn't be late. We came here seeking a formidable ally, and it looks like we found one. You heard the lady calm wind, we make for the full moon fountain. Okay, we don't need this Soul Trapper or Blank Soul Plates anymore, so I'm just gonna waste them completely because they're not hard to acquire. And if we were gonna do ZNM stuff, I'd want high quality Soul Plates anyway. So now we've gotta go to Full Moon Fountain, but on the way, there's a bunch of key items we wanna collect in the Torai Morai Canal. And the, the way we're gonna wanna approach this is we could just take the Home Point Warp straight to Full Moon Fountain. But, um... We might be better off 
much going about it by going into Trimark Canal from the Winders Walls and uh see. It was Winders Walls, wasn't it? Uh brain no worky worky, but I think yeah it's Winders Walls. And entering through the gate, we have access to because of that that one quest that we did earlier in the Let's Play. Because each of these key items are kind of like the key items for that Cardian fight. Um, they either raise our power or lower the power of the enemy somehow. The wiki isn't explaining anything, so I think I'm going to have to cross-reference the older wiki to find out. But... Uh, Uh, oh, what the hell? Okay, there we go. So... And this mission is called... Fountain Trouble. And we just completed Shantato and Chains. Almost sounds like Alice in Chains. When I played this game back in the day, a lot of people that I knew listened to stuff like Alice in Chains and Billy Talent and stuff. Got introduced to a lot of good music uh, by playing Final Fantasy XI and meeting people. Okay, Fountain of Trouble. Okay, so. Okay, so basically, we want all eight saps because we're going to get Astral Float eight times. For each elemental sap we acquire, uh, the Astral Float's damage will be reduced. If we were level 99, we could probably just um, ignore this and get one sap and go in. But since we're not level 99, uh, yeah, we're going to want to... Uh, We're going to want to make love in the club. No, we're going to want to... Uh... Get every sap. There's eight saps to get. We're going to want to get them all. And we might as well... Since we're just going to be running around hitting stuff with sneak up, we might as well just uh, put the, the sneak... Uh, the the uh, sprinter stuff from the uh, Moogle Koopo powers on. I don't like having negative stats. Give me positive stats. Oh, how could you? It's giving me minus agility. Oh, uh, what's that? That's the that's the where, where in lies the rub. Okay. Cool beans. All right, we got 20 minutes of run fast, so we should be able to run fast and get all these. Doesn't say that we can't zone, so we might, it might be fastest to, uh, to like run and grab as many of these as possible and then warp out and use the home point warp to get the last one or something. I don't know. The uh, I thought it was supposed to be in here. Is there multiple spawn locations? I guess there's multiple spawn locations for these, because I don't see I don't see it the ice one here. Um. Let's see. Well. Whatever. Well, we'll we'll run around in here and find all these and hopefully it won't take forever. But 
I, I don't think we stand a chance against the fight without getting all eight of them. And, uh... It is, again, a situation where if we lose the fight, we have to collect all the saps again or whatever. So, like... Oh, boy. It could be quite annoying. Depending on a lot of stuff. Uh, goodness. I think we want to go north to get up places. Yeah, this quest was actually for this add on. It wasn't the first time I came to Torimora Canal, but it was the first time I actually ever ran around in here without following someone else. And, uh,. Definitely what I think of when I think of Tori Mora Canal. All right, I think that's one of our saps. Earth sap crystal. All right, all right. So I guess that means we're dealing with blue. The, the, these maps are marked up with a blue location and a green location for all of these. And that was a blue location. So I assume that all the others are gonna be in their blue locations. I don't know what causes it to change. Maybe it changes on a day-by-day -day basis, like Vanadiel day-by-day -day basis. Like I really don't know. I've never. Well, it's not that I've never done this. It's just. Um... Wait, wait a second. That's a green location. Should be wind if it's. No, nope, fire. Fire? Wait, what? I am where? I am so confused. Fire. Uh, it, said, it said that that should have been water, but we got fire. I guess maybe these maps aren't 100%. The, the, the map's not 100% correct. But I suppose either way... Doesn't matter like a whole ton. Except for the fact that I'm recording. <sighs> All right. So I guess we will go. North and see if we get water. One sap, two sap, red sap, blue sap. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, yeah, there's one. 
And there's another. Lightning sap. Okay, yeah, this, this, this map is totally... Like, it doesn't have bogus locations, but, like, the elements don't don't match up at all at all okay but th that's four that's four that's earth fire lightning and water um, so I guess we'll just go to where other map markers are and see if like what we can get Now this this is directly on the way to Full Moon Fountain where I'm heading to now, and there's a spot, it's a green spot for dark, and there's a um, blue spot that also says dark. And I guess we'll see if either of them are actually there or not. There's one. Dark. Okay, so that's... I guess that's pretty much always the same. That's five. We just need three more. We need... What? We need wind, ice... And... Light? Out of my way. Which it looks like most of the spots are on the map that we started on. The map of Tori Morai that, that connects to Winders Walls. Man, sometimes having a map is, is, uh, when you're able to look at these, um, these wiki maps, sometimes having a map is, is more confusing than not having a map. Look, a Torai Morai Canal treasure coffer. It's too bad we don't have a Torai Morai coffer key. But 
Such is life, I suppose. And I don't see... I didn't see either of the ones that could possibly be there, so... Uh, that wound up being a waste of time. I wonder what level those Blackwater Pugles are. They're incredibly tough of high evasion, which that's to my, like, hodgepodge setup I have right now. I wonder if in my TP setup they would be low defense or, or, or standard evasion or something. Okay, so we're back here, which means we want to, like, circle around and go north and then go back up to cross over to the other map through the water system. Okay, now that's Black Mage AF. Alright, let's see. I gotta get back down in the water, but I don't remember exactly how to. I so said this is the most frustrating thing about this zone's design is, is just like the density of how many monsters there are around here is pretty ridiculous. Like they they are getting in my way every single time I uh, I go anywhere. Like we already got the sap that was right here, right? Like we're not gonna get another sap for checking it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so yeah, we already got that one. Oh, that's going to be something that's mildly confusing. I'm going to have to remember which saps I already picked up. Let's read what it says about the saps. The sap of the Great Star Tree in the crystallized form found within the gloom of the Tori Mirai Canal. It is faintly aglow with lightning energy. Okay, so... Sap from the Star Tree has literally trickled down here and... That's what we're going to use to protect ourselves. Or it's what's going to protect us from... That's kind of interesting. Star Tree is, is getting in on the action in, indirectly. So more or less, once we get back on the path here, we're going to get interrupted by a shit ton of bats and stuff. This zone is probably one of the greatest, like, reasons why people put on that window or add-on that removes body collision. So that when you run through someone or something, there's no, no hesitation and no, um, slowdown. So I gotta admit, it's pretty fucking annoying. Like, uh... Okay, I'm um, not seeing either of the ones that could possibly be here, but they might be down in the water, like, underneath the, uh, the doors. Let's see. I don't see them. Oh, 
Of course, there's more spots where these things can be than there are um, actual saps. So I'm assuming that um, I'm assuming they change, you know, day to day or whatever, and lo location-wise. And that we're not going to find all of them um, because uh, Flume Toad? Huh. Those are new. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not messing with a Pirago that's incredibly tough. Uh... Whew. Because Pir Piragos, unless that one is, is like an exception, they're true sight or true sound or whatever. And they'll link with those regular toads. And the regular toads have high evasion and attack pretty fast. So, like, that would just be, like, basically asking the die. That would just be asking the die. Let's see. So, we'll have to... Um... We'll have to go back all the way to the west there and hop down into the water and take a different path to get to where we want to find more of these things, more of these saps. So we still haven't found wind, light, or ice. And we need to. Of course, if the game day changes and they change locations, that means I'm going to have to, like, run all back over where I've already been. We've been running around in here for 20 minutes with heightened movement speed, and I haven't found all of them. <laughs> now this, this is the kind of content that, that you could describe as era content. Uh, running around for, you know, half an hour and not, not getting what you need. Let's see, so we go south. We can go back up, I think. And check those other spots. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. When you already have the quickening, uh, no matter how low the duration gets, if you rest to get more quickening, it only adds another five minutes on to your timer. The more you, the more you know. The more you know. My dog's just groaned at, at me. She's like, come on, man. Stop making crappy commentary. But to her, I say, I cannot. Crappy commentary is part of who I am. Hey, Star Wars. I think those are, uh... Wait, no, 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 no. Those aren't part of... Star Mites are the ones we would be using for that quest. Sometimes... Oh. Uh... Well, I guess I can just cast... Invisible, just in case. Sometimes beetles... It's not very often, but sometimes beetles are aggressive by sight. I know they link by sight. Like, 100% of the time, but sometimes they're aggressive by sight. I don't want to take any chances. Day is about to change. So. I guess we'll see if the, uh. If the things change by game day or not. 
Which if they do and one pops up right here, that, that could be a blessing in disguise. Schwing, lights day. Okay. But usually day day by day changes, they don't kick in for like the first four game minutes, I guess. Which I don't see anything popping up, so maybe that's not maybe they change once per real life day. I really don't know. Or maybe they're just statically positioned but different on every server. There's so many ways it could be. Okay. Let's see. We gotta go south. There's another spot to check that's just beyond here. Uh, where the only way to get to it is, is to go... Well, it's not the only way. Like, you could get to it from the water, I guess. Nope, don't see it. Okay. Um... Let's see. If we go down in the water and then go north, there's two more spots. Actually, three more spots we can check. Um, of course, we can also just go back through the way we just came. Those big circular rooms directly to our north are, are where other spots can be. So. Hopefully we get these. I really don't think at 75 that we'll be beating the fight without them. I think we'd need all of them. So I remember right, I think this fight is against... Rather than being against Domina Shintato herself, I think it's against her uh, Nazi Hitler Taru Taru's. Uh, I think it's it's eight of them. I think basically she imbued them with the power of the proto crystals, if I remember right. I think that's what what's going down here. Oh, there's one. Light sap. All right. Okay then. So this is the Orest area or whatever. Can we go through here? Oh, oh, uh, we... We would have to kill those, uh... Kenj oils, right? Which I guess we could do, but we could also just go back around... Um... The other way. Maybe I should have just gone the other way in the first place. Here, let's cancel these, and... Put sneak back up and just get our quickening back, and we'll go the other way. But yeah, now we just need wind and ice. Wind and ice, and ice and wind. Ice, wind, Dale? No, 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 that's a, another game, another game. I think it's kind of interesting that both Windurst and Sandioria, they have actual, like, constructed, you know, like, stonemason worked subterranean zones directly beneath their towns. And then Bastok, highlighting how new it is compared to them, I guess, is, uh... It's just, you know, like, mines and waterways. Like, like it's, it's a... Uh, you know, it's like Zarin Mines is directly beneath Bastok, but it's linked by by a river to Palboro Mines. And then by through Zarin Mines, Zarin Mines is directly linked to Korolaka Tunnel. And holy crap, there's the Parago Excavator again. Okay, um... I didn't realize it was going to move out here. Maybe those toads, like, transform into it. Um, I wonder if it aggro's magic or not. Because okay. uh, that's the way I want to go. But then again, I don't want to fuck with... I don't want to fuck with Brago. 
So... I guess, hey, I'll look it up real quick. I'll look up the, uh, Prago... Uh, what's it called? Uh... Excavator? Okay. See if they're actually true side or if they're an exception. Oh my god. Okay. True sound, yeah. Level 96 to 99. Okay, so we're going back to the hinge oil door and just killing the hinge oil. We're going to whip out trust and kill the hinge oil. I'm... Wow, okay. What a waste of time. I guess I'm lucky I didn't run into one unexpectedly um, when I was going that way that first time before I... I uh, turned back around or whatever it was like god damn Final Fantasy 11 and I'm pretty sure the only reason we will be able to get through the door that we're gonna get through is um, the fact that we've done Winders missions so like man this is just like one huge shit sandwich if you're lower than 99 and trying to get it done Of course, in the quest defense, I guess technically you might be able to get it done um, if you uh, Like, I don't know how strong the fight actually is uh, without the saps. So, like, it might be possible that uh, that's easy without the saps. I don't know. Don't actually know. Don't actually know. What I do know is I'm going to run around and get all of these hinge oils. Line room. Yeah, there you go. Like, this is kind of irritating, because, like, we might not be able to get past the door still. We're, like, we might... Because, like, there's another door inside that room. And I don't know if, like, we're going to be able to... Even if we kill all these hinge oils, I don't know if we're going to be able to open the door. The first door, even. Because it might be quest-linked. I think that oil just killed itself on the lineral spikes. I think that's all four hinge oils. Okay, we got in the first door, but can we open the second door to get 
get past or whatever. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So we're past the doors. And... Now we just gotta go south. Thought I was resting. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god, did... Don't tell me. Did I... Oh, my trust opened the door for me, thank god. Okay, we want this door, actually. I thought we wanted this door, actually. What? What? Is there, like, an invisible wall? No? I'm confused. Uh, I... Don't know exactly how we're gonna... Huh. Well, this is just proof I don't know my way around to where I'm or I canal, that's for sure. Oh, it's just... They both lead to, like... Okay, so this is the Star Sybil's entrance to the room or whatever. I don't know where that other transporter goes. I thought I could... I guess I read the map wrong. I thought I could get to... like that side of things without having to worry about going through the water. I guess we'll see where this teleporter goes. And if it takes us like back into Windurst or into like Star Tree or something, we can just come back. And I guess we'll also see if we keep the saps or not. I would assume we keep the saps because um uh, first floor of Heaven's Tower. Uh no thanks. But yeah, I assume we would keep the saps because... You have to zone into Full Moon Fountain with them, which counts as zoning out of Torai Morai Canal. So I assume we'll be fine to, like, leave if we have to. But, like, that means to go check these last two spots, we've got to go through the water passage with those paragos, which means we're gonna either link a shit ton of frogs and die, or we're gonna, uh, like, just die instantly to something like a goth war spell or some shit. Oh, animasteri, not oristeri. I miss, I, I, I got it wrong, got it wrong. Okay, so I guess as precautionary measure, we'll put up shadows and we'll put up a uh, stone skin or something. And, uh... I guess when we inevitably aggro the Pirogo, um... We'll, uh... Death Warp and find out. <laughs> But we might luck out. We might, with our enhanced movement speed, we might be able to outrun everything and be okay. Because... Um, I mean, we do have... some PDT gear. And the real issue is going to come from the frogs linking with the Parago. So. Come on now. 
do, 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 do. Let's put on intelligence and more intelligence and that, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let's die. Oh, you had an aggro. Well, that, that makes me feel like a fool. But it might have just been happenstance. Now, we've been running around in here for like 40 minutes. <laughs> Okay, there's... There's another one. Wind! Alright, we just need... We just need... Ice. Oh shit, uh, aggressive beetles? See, this is why I was worried about those other ones being aggressive. Of course, these are all easy prey, so whatever. But it also looks like we don't have another... Like there's not another, um... Not another uh, thing in the room. Like this guy says, there should be, or could be. Uh, I really wish I knew what, like, made group one and group two be a thing. Maybe, maybe it'll say... Saps move after a certain time, which is still to be determined. Okay, um... Hmm. Well... I guess that's the root of the star tree leaking its sap off. I've never been in this room, I don't think. Well, if nothing else, this has been quite the tour of Tori Morai Canal. Um... Oh, okay, so it's just a loop. Huh. Well, we've got seven out of eight of the saps. The only one we don't have is ice. And I feel lucky. I feel like we might be okay to just... warp out and try the fight with seven out of eight of the saps. Because I think we can live through one astral flow, no problem. But I suppose I should read up on the fight itself first. Oh, now you trust SketchUp. Okay, whatever.
So what we'll do is we'll go try this with seven of the saps. And if we lose, you know, which is pretty likely, uh, I'll get the saps off camera. And we'll try again next time. Man, these add-on fights got hands, though, you know. Okay, so we should get a cutscene. We're getting close to the hard limit, too, which I don't like. Because the fight itself might actually take longer than the <laughs> damn amount of time we got left. Just of going fast, I'm not going to read this. Uh, she's calling us a rebel, but saying it's no consequence. <laughs> That's an acute case of sour grapes you have there, Domino Shantato. Sour grapes and military might. Your uneducated comments are a royal slight. That we have to resort to brute force to subjugate all of Anadil is the most ridiculous notion that should be discarded like a Pamama appeal. The seal's functions, true function is not to amplify the power of the protocrystals like we said. That was an outright lie. With a little imagination, we devise something considerably worse. The seals, you see, shall envelop the Vanadiel in a dreadful curse. The crystals lend their strength to the seals and not the other way around. All living things will succumb to our will. Golly, we love that way that sounds. In this way, by, and by our hand, a perfect world order shall arise, a vanadeal that exists solely for our pleasure, all the way to the skies. So sound the horns and beat the drums, the everlasting Shintento Empire has come. Have you lost your mind? Effie? Army of clones. So not only are they, they Nazi Tartarus that do hail Shantato, they are clones of someone. I wonder who she cloned. They, they have male Tartaru farmer model, models. So, hurry up, game. Time's a-wasting. Chop, chop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring up the box, please. Thank you. Okay. The power of the great star tree has been released. Which that's alluding to our saps. Which we only got seven of. And please, for the love of God, let me use trusts. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, we'll go with him. We'll go with... Tata. Um, go for Matsui P. Okay, and then we're just gonna full buff here. Per usual. And I think the order we'll want to kill them in is we'll want to go ahead and kill them in Darkness, Ice, and then the rest, because um, Darkness has the ability to curse us, curse us in our trust, so we don't want that. 
Um, and then ice, obviously, is going to have its full power astral flow. Which we also don't want, but... Why aren't my buffs making any noise? Huh. This is very strange. Do you hear the buffs noises? I don't hear buff noise. I wonder if it has something to do with the, uh... BCNM sound effect thing on the gate there. Let's see, let's... Where is haste? take this as seriously as we can. got seven minutes until the hard limit on the recording kicks in, so hopefully we can beat it or die to it before then. Bone of Shadows. That's who we want. of line roll. Okay. Uh, maybe we should just kill all the other ones we have saps for first then. They're gonna do that much damage. Glaciers would be last. Good thing we got most of the saps, cause damn.
we're getting kind of close to it. Actually, no, I'll just wait till Gust is almost dead. We're gonna put on Stone Skin. That way we have extra HP for Shiva's two hour when we get to uh, when we get to her here. So no diamond dust for you. <laughs> Good job, Matt Sweet Pea. Alright. Jim Key Adam Chocobo Key. Now, can we zoom through this cutscene if there is one? In like the next two minutes? Come on, game. Come on, game. My oh my, we feel obliged to say that truly that was an inspiring display. Be warned, though, against us you stand on a chance, even the most auspicious, under the uh, most auspicious circumstance. We've gone and found our soft-spoken other half and brought her here to these grounds, but be warned once more not to raise your hopes high, for they surely end up plummeting from the sky. So long as I exist, your plan for world domination sh will never take root. There will be no gratification. For only the new nation that is set to emerge is the Holy Shantato Empire. You must settle for a dirge. The, the Holy Shantato Empire? Okay, so basically we got lawful good taken to the extreme and chaotic evil taken to the extreme. Okay, so I'd read all this, but like I said, we're almost at the hard limit, so if you really want to read it, then pause. Of course, if the cutscene gets interrupted, because it's too long, I'll just start next episode by reading it. Like I'll, I'll get it at like a goblin footprint or something. Shantatification spell. Oh, they want to turn the whole world into Shantato. Like bimbofication, but sh Shantatification. <laughs> Well then. Alright, well. Sucks to be auto. You're slower than a teleport spell. Now we've got like 40 seconds. Come on now. Turn to Jin on standby. Okay, awesome. We made it. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day, and I'll see you again.